Hello there, Martin Unix here. Welcome viewers to my tutorial on the heart of cutting short voluminous and lengthy locks as well as mastering repair maintenance and retightening through the interlocking method. Having a look at the roots seems messy but no worries since we have put down measures to tackle that. First and foremost let's ascertain the length that my client wants. Oh that's the length. Right. That's the length that my client wants, just a low pony. He wants to have a low pony whenever you want to put together the log stones at that point. So we need to cut off our log stones at this point. Sure. So let's go ahead and cut off the log stones. And it seems we are going to do away with half of the length. So let's go ahead and do so. Remember guys, we need to satisfy our client needs. Whether you are a seasoned loctician or a newcomer to the world of logs, join me on this journey as we explore the techniques that will elevate your skill set and enhance your client's experience. So now let's dive into the intricacies of creating and maintaining stunning logs that stand the test of time. So that's the way to go. Let's trim the log stones in preparation for the next level. Remember that uh, our client just wanted to put down like half of the log stones and that's it. Wow, that looks amazing. That's more manageable. And this is the length of the log strands that we have just cut off. Another look. So first and foremost, let's kick off by doing the leave-in treatment, you know, to pump in moisture as well as activating the nutrients in the hair. If you're new on my channel, kindly consider subscribing, like my comment, and share to your friends. Consider staying locked up to the end. Now, after the leave-in treatment, we need to you know, do some massage movements so as to activate the skin follicles as well as the hair cuticles so that you can let in the nutrients with some easiness. So let's kick off by putting our log strands together to a mindu pony that way so that you can kick off with the interlocking method. On this particular tutorial, I will be adopting a four-point interlocking method, that is a four-way interlocking method. And I will be elaborating further as to why I have chose a four-point interlocking method and not a three-point or a two-point interlocking method. So stay locked up to the end because I will be elaborating more as pertains to the four point the rocking method and why on this particular tutorial now uh, we need to kick off but uh, you realize that uh, i've done like three half of what i'm expected to do on this particular you know client but uh, no worries because i'm going to elaborate in a slow down version just for the sake of our beginners and uh, I will be diving into details when it comes to the techniques to adopt when dealing with these kind of log stones. First and foremost, we need to take care of the tip where we are cut off the locks by crocheting that particular point and you will realize that uh, the log stones have got lots of splittings so we are as well going to you know, take care of the split ends which are along the log strands just to manage the loop. You also need to, you know, gently do a clean parting without causing tension on the scalp. You can use a pair of scissors where need be instead of stripping the hair strands. How do we do the four-way interlocking method? We do that by interlocking the lock strand in a clockwise manner in four different points, as you can see. But I promise to elaborate further on this. First and foremost, let's tackle this first lock strand altogether. 
but before we you know elaborate further as pertains to the four point interlocking method let's talk about why why cut your lock stones to minimize the length and what are the factors that might lead to that and more importantly uh, what's the benefit of cutting the lock strands into a shorter length now point to note when it comes to minimizing the length of the lock strands is that uh, cutting locks short can be a transformative choice offering a fresh start and a newfound versatility it allows for easier maintenance promotes healthier growth and opens doors to diverse styling options embracing shorter locks can be a bold statement reflecting individuality and dynamic approach to personal style all right i'm just doing some crochet movements you know to tuck in the split ends which appears along the log stone and that's wow we are done and you can have a look how my hinder logs are appearing at the roots have a look it doesn't create the letter y it doesn't split at the roots that is so let's go ahead and tackle another log stone all together first and foremost we kick off by separating the roots gently without causing lots of tension and remember guys if you want to join my online classes you can do so by reaching out via the number provided along the video you can as well send an email to martinunixalon at gmail.com that's uh, my official contacts gently you can just cut off some of the stones now after doing this particular lock stone i will talk about the interlocking method So this is the way to go. Pick your crochet latch and do your first hinder lock. For instance, I'm gonna start at the middle, down ones that way, then at the side. Remember, we are doing a clockwise movement by doing a four points, and then from the back up ones, then from side to side. Then I shall finish at the point where we had started. For more to perfect as to how you can end up finishing at this particular point, you just need to join my virtual classes so that we can work together through this journey. Let's do some instant crochet just to take care of the split ends which appears along the log strands. And remember that guys we have given many tutorials as pertains to the crocheting techniques i want to advise you to revisit the channel for such tutorials and now let's talk about the four-way interlocking method now why are we doing the four-way interlocking method on these particular you know lock swans and not the two-way interlocking method or the three-way interlocking method now you'll find that uh, the four-way interlocking method stands out for large locks due to its effectiveness in distributing tension evenly across the roots. This promotes stability and minimizes stress on individual locks, reducing the risk of breakage. Additionally, the method offers a systematic approach ensuring a uniform and secure hold that is crucial for the maintenance of large locks. Its versatility allows for customization based on lock size and density, making it a preferred choice for those seeking durability and long-lasting lock integrity. All right, now we are approaching the end. So let's finish off by doing the final lock stone. Remember guys, I usually choose to show just a small portion, but in a slow down fashion. So no need of skipping the video. Just need to watch the video after the end. Consider liking my work, 
share to your friends and leave a comment so let's do the final block stone all together remember guys at times you can just pick the in growths and wrap them around the log stone that way then begin your hinder locks after which you shall now uncover the air strands which you had wrapped around the log stone and now reinforce the air strands by use of the instant crochet so that the air strands can remain in place like forever so i think up to this level we are clear on when to do the four-way interlocking method and when not to just let me tap your potential by joining my virtual classes so realize your potential guys join my virtual classes where we showcase on how to do styling as well as blocks maintenance so this is the way to go this final log strand that i'm taking you through so just pick your instant crochet and manage the loose hair strands and just to tip you as pertains to the instant method usually tilt the log strand in both clockwise and hand clockwise uh, movements whenever you are pushing the crochet to and fro as you work backwards and remember to maintain the crochet inside the log strand don't pull the crochet too far because you might end up breaking the loops remember that uh, we have those micro loops which usually get completed and tangled forming the locked uh, log strand so that's our closing part so more importantly after doing your heater locks you need to use oil on the skull just to soothe the follicles on the skull as well as you know crossing the hair cuticles just to extend the benefit of the treatment for some hours and that's our final look and it's wow let's finish off with an hot oil spray this is amazing this is lovely so thank you for your time thank you for watching my tutorial to the end and stay locked as i look forward to making the next tutorial.